Okay, these are the boys. I'm going to try to keep them separate. They're very tiny. I have it's kind of a perfect litter. I have three chocolate boys, three yellows. Very surprised. Last time I had all chocolates and one yellow. And then these are the girls. Again, we had two of each. We have two chocolates and two yellows. Such a surprise, half and half. Last time I had all chocolates and one yellow, one surprise yellow. But this time it, it came out more even. They're just a week old yes, on Wednesday. So um, they're very tiny. Eyes aren't open. They just crawl around and they eat and they sleep. Right now they're looking for mom. I have her out so I can take this video. But yeah, these are the girls right here. We have one tiny chocolate. She's a good bit tinier than the other one, the little chocolate girl. She seems to be the small one of the litter. We'll try to, to get her to um, maybe supplement her or I, I've been trying to just make sure she nurses a little extra. Generally, the tiny ones just mean that, that it they're just not as pushy as the other ones. So they just slowly get pushed out and they get smaller. So you got to try to help them stay caught up. It's kind of hard to do, but we try. So these are the girls. I have two yellows, two chocolates. And these are the big fat chubby boys. Three bo yellow boys and three chocolate boys. That's what we have in Molly and Bear's litter. You can go to my website, millerspondfarm.com, and you can read about their parents. I don't believe I have them listed. They're brand. This is a brand new litter. They're only a week old. And no, you can't come out when they're this tiny. It's too dangerous. You know they haven't been vaccinated. You could bring something to them. And, expose them to something so they just they can't be seen and handled until they've been vaccinated but here they are little yellow girls and the little tiny the tiny girl and the big girl one more shot of the boys sleepy chubby boys okay i better let mom back in i think she's mad at me she just wouldn't, didn't want me taking videos. You know, moms are super protective. <laughs> That's another reason why you can't come out right now. It would upset mom so much to have strangers smell on them. That would just be tragic to mom. So. Anyway, these are my puppies. But I, I do have available puppies. And you can call and make reservations. And we pick in order of picks. First pick chocolate females already taken. Um... And I have a few more people to call contact who are on a wait list. Often wait list, they, they get tired of waiting and find something else. And that's fine. But uh, anyway, I will know what's available soon. And so you can get uh, put a deposit down, get a reservation for a pick. And then when they get older, we put colored collars on them. And um, you can either pick through videos or you can wait until they're eight weeks old and you can I schedule people in order of picks and you come out and pick and bring your puppy home. That's how we're doing things here now. So it's just safer that way. We don't want anything to happen to these guys. So these are the girls. And these are the boys. Bear is full English. Molly is a mix, but she's she's a good part English. Um, more than half English, I would say. From I've had her parents and her, I know her grandparents, so we've had Molly's line for a while. We've had a lot of healthy, good puppies from that line. So um, I still own her grandmother. Lace is her grandmother. Um, and I own Hunter, that's her father. So, it's a good line. These puppies will be just basically full English. There may be a little bit of American in Molly, but not much. And um, Bear is 
so English. You can see by his pictures when you go to the website. So these puppies are really basically full English. And um, they're either shorter, heavier, stockier, um, not as hyper, or not hyper, but not as active as an American lab. Um, American labs are bred for hunting. I'm sure that you know that if you're interested in these. And English labs do hunt too, but they just aren't as, um, you know, driven as the American labs. So, and the American labs are taller, longer legs, all of that. So, um, these are my puppies. And I do have availables. Still have a few people to contact, as I said. But uh, I have I have available openings. So just putting this out there. I don't have them advertised anywhere yet, other than this video. So Molly and Bear's puppies.